Hello learners, welcome. Previously from one lesson five, we were dealing with the other laboratory apparatus. So in lesson six, we are going to do sources of heat or the apparatus that are used as a source of heat in the laboratory. We are told the pieces of apparatus used as a source of heat in the laboratory include the Bunsen burner, we're having spirit lamp, we have the candle, we have gas stove, we have kerosene stove, and we have electric heater. So we are told the Bunsen burner is the most suitable source of heat in the laboratories. So let's go to the Bunsen burner. We are told uh, the Bunsen burner consists of three major parts. These are the chimney, we have the collar, and we have the base. So let's go to the chimney. We are told the chimney is a hollow, hollow metallic cylinder with an air hole near its end. The collar is a metal ring which uh, may have an air hole whose diameter is the same size as that of the hole in the chimney. So the diagram, the di diameter of the collar is slightly bigger than that of the chimney. So that the chimney can fit into it. The base is made up of thick metallic material into which a small hollow metal with a jet is fitted. So the Pansin burner is uh, normally connected to an external source of laboratory by a rubber tube. So this is how the Bunsen burner look like. So far, we are having two diagrams here. The first one is when it is open, and this is when it is closed. So the upside here, we are having the chimney. So the chimney we said is a hollow metallic cylinder with an air hole. Check here. With an air hole near its end. That is the air hole that we are talking about. So... Thereafter, we're having the collar. This is the collar here. So here we said the collar is a metal ring, which may have an air hole. That's the air hole in the collar, whose diameter is the same as that of the hole in the chimney. Okay. Then thereafter, we're having the jet. This is the jet here. So after that, we're having gas inlet here. And this is the base of the Bunsen burner. Okay, this other side, it's when it's closed, we are told a Bunsen burner normally connected to an external source of laboratory gas by the rubber tubing. So this is the rubber tubing. This is the base and the air hole is there. So we cannot see the jet and also the gut, the gas inlet because they are in there. And this is the chimney. Okay, there. Let us go to the next we go the functions of the different parts of the Bunsen burner. We have the gas inlet. Gas inlet, it is connected to an external source of laboratory gas by rubber tubing. Number two, we have the jet. Jet, jet allows laboratory gas into the chimney. Then we have in the collar. The collar is used to regulate the amount of air entering the chimney. We have in the collar. That's... Uh, we said the collar is used to regulate the amount of air entering the chimney. We have again the air hole in the chimney allows air to enter and mix with the laboratory gas from the jet. We have again next the chimney. It's where laboratory gas mixed with air to form flame. Then lastly, we have in the base. The base is the one supports the Bunsen burner. Okay, that's the end for today.